For more than 20 years, Keith and his wife Gloria have owned the oldest sweet shop in the world. And the orange ones are best. <laughs> you bite off the head or the feet. Usually all at once. <laughs> but now they want to sell their business and they want the new owners to have as sweet a tooth as they do. When I met my wife, uh, when I was 17, she was 16, one of my first trips was to bring her out to the sweet shop and show her and buy some sweets. And that love of confectionery, love of the history and background sweets has continued. Since 1827, this building in Pateley Bridge in North Yorkshire has sold confectionery. And the visit today is like a trip to a museum. They still sell the old favourites by the quarter, and the pounds and pence go into an old Victorian till. We always do come because um, it's my grandchildren. So invariably, yes, my grandson did I. Me. Invariably, it's when they come up. It's just so cute. It takes you back to a different time. So have you got a message for the new owners? Please keep it the same. Yes, just with a little bit of uh, variety of newness. <laughs> but uh, yeah. basically the same, it works. The shop has become a tourist attraction in its own right as famous for its listed building as the treats inside. In the summer, you can queue for over an hour to get in. So, Keith, what's your favourite? My favourite has always been milk gum teeth. Strawberry and vanilla, powder coated, beautiful. But the best selling sweet always and still is rhubarb and custard. The world's oldest sweet shop, complete with its sugary stock, is now on the market for just under £400,000. Stacey Foster, ITV News, North Yorkshire.